Welcome, my name is Tim, and in this video, I'm going to guide you through the proper procedure for diagnosing a faulty indoor fan relay on the commercial air conditioner. Now to begin with, let's make sure the thermostat's calling for cooling. We're going to click the selector switch to the cool position. Doing this will also turn down the temperature setting of the thermostat. Now that we've done this, let's click OK on the procedure guide up at the top and be sure to refer to the procedure guide after each step. Next, we want to take a brief inventory of which electrical loads are operational. And we can see here that the indoor fan is not running. Okay, These arrows would be spinning and you'd be able to hear it if you have speakers. So we're going to click no, the indoor fan's not operating. We go to the outdoor unit, we can see that both the compressor as well as the condenser fan motor are running. The arrows are spinning, both of those are running. So we're going to click yes there. So the source of our problem here is in fact the indoor fan motor. Now before we take any voltage measurements, let's briefly review the wiring diagram by clicking on the bottom left here. And when we do that, we can see that the indoor fan is definitely one of our possible causes. I mean, we could have an open winding in the motor. It's also possible that the capacitor for the indoor fan is faulty. But if you look in the low voltage circuit, there's a possibility that the indoor fan relay coil is bad here or faulty, meaning these contacts wouldn't close and the fan wouldn't come on. Serving the indoor fan relay coil is the fan switch within the thermostat, and this comes out of the G terminal. In other words, 24 volts comes out of G and sends it to the indoor fan relay coil, and when that energizes, again, it'll close its contacts and turn the indoor fan motor on. So our possibilities here are either the motor, the capacitor, the relay, or possibly the thermostat. Again, just the fan switch in the thermostat. We know that the cooling contacts are closing because the contactor is energized um, and turning the outdoor unit on. So our next step is to measure at the indoor fan relay coil. Now, this is going to be the green and blue wires right here, and we should measure 24 volts here. So place your meter leads at the glowing orange hot spots, and we have 24 volts going to the relay coil. Now let's take out the wiring diagram again for just a second. We can see the placement of our meter leads at the indoor fan relay coil, and we've got 24 volts there. Well, this verifies the fan switch and the thermostat is working just fine because we do, in fact, have 24 volts at the coil. Our next step is to see if the contacts in the relay or the indoor fan relay are actually closing. So after clicking yes on the procedure guide that we've measured 24 volts, we're going to measure for line voltage coming into the indoor fan relay. And this is just going to verify we don't have any breaks in the connection or possibly wire nuts. And we do have 24 volts coming into the line side of the relay. So we're going to click yes. Our next step is to see if we have 240 volts coming out of the relay at the load side. Now with the 24 volts to the coil, the coil should be energized and it should be closing the contacts between the line and load side. But when we place our meter leads on the load side of that relay, we get zero volts, meaning the two sets of contacts in between the red connections and black connections here, or the line and load side, are open. Now, they shouldn't be open. We've got 24 to the coil. It should be pulling the contacts in. This most likely means the coil is probably open. Uh, so our next step is to click No on the procedure guide and inspect for any loose connections. And if we look here, it looks like all the connections are secure. So there's no loose wires. We're going to click No. Now, if you want to, you can do a resistance check of the coil, but that's really not going to be necessary. We've got 24 volts to it, and it's not pulling the contacts in, so our indoor fan relay is the source of the problem here. Turn off your disconnect, click OK on the procedure guide, and click on the indoor fan relay to replace it. And when you click on it, just simply click Replace on the menu here, and that solves our problem. Now, I strongly recommend you watch one full cycle of operation. In fact, you may need to thaw the coil out because without this indoor fan running, uh, you're going to accumulate a, a fairly good amount of frost on that indoor coil, and you may need to defrost that um, with a heat gun or running the blower for a while to defrost the coil. After that, make sure everything's running properly, and then go up into space and verify that cold air is actually being received. But before we do that, we need to turn the disconnect back on. Once we've done that, again, we go up to the space and we can see cool air is being delivered through the ceiling diffuser, so we finish the problem. Now, if there's any confusion here, click on this top left icon and you can review each of these steps in the procedure. Good luck on all your future service calls, and I'll see you back here soon.
Thanks for watching. You can try our on-demand VR-enabled learning for HVAC by signing up for a free trial. Go to interplaylearning.com to get started.